So now we have to go without Ryan Thompson for the first half against Arkansas Pine Bluff, a team that has been absolutely bad all season. They've only won one game, and I believe, I forgot who that was against, but as you can see, they came up short against UConn, losing Mississippi State, Arizona, Grambling State, Southern. Then they finally pick up their first win versus A&M, Alabama A&M that is. Lose to Alcorn State, lose to Texas Southern, lose to Prairie View, lose to Mississippi Valley State, and now what's their award? They'll play the number two team in the country, the Alabama State Hornets. Today marks the regular season finale for season seven for Alabama State. We are coming into this game without our best player on offense, the favorite to win the Heisman Trophy, the favorite to win the Bolitnikoff Award, Yes, I am talking about Ryan Thompson. You know him for rocking that number one jersey. He has carried us throughout the entirety of this season. He's on the verge of having, what, 2,000 yards receiving, could pass Don Robbie Smith's record, and on top of that, on the verge of also having a season in which he catches 20 touchdowns. He's actually being profiled for this game, as a matter of fact. Look at it, first in the country and uh, receiving yards first in the country and receiving touchdowns along with well over 70 catches. Now he has to sit out due to an academic infraction. So let's look at the impact players for Arkansas Pine Bluff. You got Andy Brown, his big tight end, 6'5", 235, 89 overall. He's a senior. Ryan Guerrero, 6'3", 238, 88 overall, a run stopper. And it looks like he will pop you in the mouth too. Second team all swag before the season started they also have their middle linebacker that is named as an impact player you see right there number 44 88 take that back 91 overall chris carlson 62 290 well, 242 a balanced middle linebacker who can cover and he's good at stopping a run so he can play both back and he can play inside the line of scrimmage very well so as the game kicks off this is the last game of the season for a lot of players this on our defense oh my goodness look at that right there look at oliver look at that showing that athleticism a nice play that was by oliver but then there goes allen he's going nowhere he's taken down by wendell davis this is the last game for a lot of our players well not a lot but some players on defense we're going to be losing blake clayton brad anderson after this season is over there goes Brad Edison right there making that tackle in the backfield. And now we got the ball at the Arkansas Pine Bus forced to punt. Donnie Monker got absolutely popped on that play. We're going to go right back to him, though. He gains a good about, what, six, five yards on that one. It's third and four. Trey Tyler rolls out to the right. Finding, look at that, Brandon Hardy. Brandon Hardy. The five-star wide receiver has been so disappointing so far. There goes big Kelvin Mills from Louisiana getting his first carry of the game. Third and ten now. Trey Tyler pops it. That was a bad pass, and that was fall incomplete. Mendoza's on the coverage there. So we decided to go for it on fourth and ten. Trey Tyler rolls out once again. That pass is batted away. Pine Bluff get the ball back. First and ten. Up the gut. Allen goes. Look at that. The fullback picked up that block, and he is off to the races. Grant Garcia can't catch him. Touchdown, Golden Lions. And Arkansas Pine Bluff strike first blood. Now here we go at our own 18. We're trying to start this over again. Donnie Marcup making a man miss. Gets tackled just past the 35-yard line. We are rolling. This time we go back to Donnie Marker. Look at that. He had a crease. Did an unnecessary juke move. But it's still manageable. Second and six now. Trey Tyler. Pops it to the right side. That pass is dropped. Brandon Hardy, man. I'm telling you. 36. They have back the red. The low down dirty Shane Harris. He gets ruled short. And now the fans are rooting for us to go for it. After one, we are down to a team that's one and nine. Just an absolute shame. So there we go. First down. We barely got it. Thanks to Donnie Monker. So here we go at our own 47. Trey Tyler rolling out to the left. Pops it to the middle. And that pass is intercepted. Brandon Harden couldn't get there in time. That wasn't a really good thrown pass. So we're back on defense and look at Robert Boyd, one of our seniors in this game. This is his last home game of his collegiate career. He is a senior and he will be done after this. 
third and nine. Look at Oliver with all that pass. He throws it off his back foot, and that pass is batted away. No, take that back. I believe that pass was dropped. Yep, that pass was dropped. It's fourth and nine. They're forced to punt. So we're going to do a play fake. We're going to look for Tommy Chavez on the right side, and that pass is dropped. He couldn't hold it in. Who is going to step up at wide receiver today? That's what I'm waiting on. Tyler. Oh, my goodness. Another drop this time is Sheldon Green. The man we was hoping to step up today. So there we go. Pabas Black on offense. And there goes Oliver Gitch. Shirt. Robert Bates with another sack on the season. Second and 17. They go to the fullback and look at this trickery. Right up the gut. A crease. No Hornet was near him. So now Pablo for Rodo on offense. Look at this. Look at Campbell. He fumbles the ball and then they pick it back up. We can't catch a break. Second and 12 this time. They go right back to Bauer, the fullback. He gets nothing that time. Third and 10. Oliver under pressure. Pops it and that pass is dropped. That pass was dropped. These receivers are letting both teams down today. So here we go. Brad Anderson waiting for the punt at the 25. Makes that man miss. Brad Anderson up the left side. Brad Anderson just what we needed. We are finally on the board. Touchdown Alabama State. Brad Anderson does it again. His second punt return of the season. So now we kick the ball off on the ensuing kickoff. Look at this. Hawk. Absolute beast. Almost returned that. Thanks to the kicker, he got tackled. Second and 10 now. Oliver pops it off his back foot again. Looking for the tight end, Brown. It's third and five. They have not converted a third down all game. Look at that missed tackle right there. But there goes Leon Hill doing the cleanup work. Joe McCowan gets injured. And I don't think he came back for the rest of this game. I forgot. First and 10 now. There goes the screen pass to Brandon Hardy. And he went absolutely nowhere. That's a shame. Second and 12 right now. Here goes Tyler. Lording out to the left. Pops it. That pass is incomplete. Not a good start for Trey Tyler. Second and 12. Low down dirty Shane Harris. On the half at the rate. Gets the first down and much more. And then he gets to the 45-yard line. Low down dirty Shane Harris. Gets us out of a curdy situation again. There goes Johnny Moncur trying to get away from the defender. But he does, doesn't have the speed. Third and 7. Tyler rolls out. Tyler pops it. That pass is dropped. And at this point, Brandon Hardy's got to go. Brandon Hardy's got to go. So we're going to put Scott Jordan at that four spot. He's going to ride the pound the rest of the way. Fourth and seven, though. Play fake. Tyler without that pass. He looks deep. And the pass is caught by Sheldon Green. The red shirt freshman out of California making a huge play right before the half. Beating the linebacker with ease. Making that catch inside the five-yard line. Can we get into the end zone before the half? No, no, we cannot. Keon Peterson is saying that we tried to give him one last touchdown before he go out. So we decide to settle for three points. We are up by three at halftime after a disappointing start for our offense. The defense is holding it down. Minus that long run. So now we go to the second half. And look who's back. The Heisman Trophy favorite. The man that's favorite for the Belitnikoff Award, even though he didn't do much, though. We need Ryan Thompson back. Second and 14. Marker finding that crease. Marker making a man miss. Marker getting past the 40 yard line. What a run that was by Dunning Marker. We want him to work on his speed on the offseason. Tyler looks to the middle. That pass is caught by Sheldon Green. He holds on to it. Look at that catch. A beautiful catch by the red shirt freshman from California. Second and 10. Now there goes another crease for Dunning Marker making a man miss. Dunning Marker has to get away from the defender. He does and he goes to the crib. Touchdown Alabama State. Donnie Monkert does it again. He is now over 1,000 yards for the season. Look at that juke move right there, fooling the safety, and he cruises into the end zone. I thought he was going to get caught for one point. So the Hornets are finally waking up in the second half like they've been doing all season. And look at Blake Clayton. He's past the 20, inside the 10. Blake Clayton, can he get inside the end zone? Oh, no, he cannot. He's tackled inside the five. Blake Clayton, our All-American strong safety with another big play. And look at Kelvin Mills finishing off the drive. Touchdown, Alabama State. 24-7. The Hornets all awake and alive. The number two team in the country up 24-7. So Hawk feels his ball in the end zone, takes it out. Hawk up the middle. Hawk makes a man miss. Hawk is finally tackled by Jones. That was big because he still would have been running. At the wrong 34, there goes Oliver Gershat, Michael Stuckey. 
Michael Stuckey, another senior, getting one last sack in his last home game as an Alabama State Hornet. There goes Oliver. That pad, that ball should have been stripped by Blake Clayton right there. So third and long now. Oliver with all the other pass. He tries to throw it off his back foot. It's fumbled. And it's just live there. And not one Hornet on defense could get the ball. But that's cool. We're about to get the ball back anyway. There goes Brad Anderson. Fielding that thing inside the 40. Brad Anderson up the left side. Brad Anderson. There he goes again. Oh, we got pushed out of bounds just inside the 20. What well, at the 20-yard line. So here we go, first and ten is a play fake. Trey Tyler looking for a man downfield. He's got Ryan Thompson. The pass is caught, but it's out of bounds. So let's try this again. Another play fake. And this time Trey Tyler gets shanked. Williams gets his third sack of the season. So we decide to set up for three points again. The kick is up, but it's no good. A wasted possession. So now here it goes. There it goes. Look at that. Look at Greg Garcia. Another sack. Grant Garcia is our leading set man on this team. And then look at that. Look at Avery Vincent making that pick off the deflection. He gets tackled inside the five. I hate the EA Sports dive tackle cheese. So first and goal. Monk her with ease. Touchdown, Alabama State. We are beasting right now. Look at this. We went into the second half with just 10 points. We have now scored 21. It is now 31 to 7. Second and one now, Pie Bluff, look at Grant Garcia. Grant Garcia is just a true freshman, just straight beasting. He straight missed on that damn tackle, though. Straight missed out on that one. Nevertheless, we still got him. So now it's first and ten for us as after we forced him to punt. Play fake. We're going to look deep for Ryan Thompson. And the pass is caught inside the 15-yard line. What a catch that was by Ryan Thompson. So now Tyler's rolling out to the right, looking for Henry Ortiz in the end zone. Touchdown, Alabama State. Henry Ortiz with another touchdown catch on the season. I believe that is four now. And then look at Grant Garcia. He's just a true freshman, man. He's going to be so nasty next season. Oliver, Robert Board making him feel the heat. So here goes a third and long situation. Leon Hill bringing more pressure. And that pass should have been picked off by Jones. I can't believe they didn't let me pick that off. Second and ten now. We're going back to Dunning Munker. He's going to make a man miss. Oh, he ran a man over. Oh, Lord have mercy, Jesus. He ran a man over. Wait a minute. What is this? What is the flag? Hold on. I know this ain't holding. Oh, it's side on us. It's on Arkansas Pine Bluff. Tack on five yards. Inadvertent face mask. There goes Ryan Thompson, though. Ryan Thompson past the ten inside the five-yard line. We're right back inside the five in the red zone. What do we do best? We give it to our running backs, and they cruise in. There goes Keon Peterson with his last touchdown run as an Alabama State Hornet inside this stadium. There goes Mueller. They took out their first string, and look at Leon Hill. Another week, another interception for the true, well, what is he, a redshirt sophomore from Cal? Yeah, he's a redshirt sophomore, my bad. But there goes Wilson. So now we have our second string offense inside the game. We're going to go with this half at the red, the low down there to Shane Harris. He's going to almost pick up that first down, but the play is manageable. So here we go on third down. There goes Wilson, rolling out. Wilson pops it. There goes Scott Jordan. Could he be back? Could he be back, ladies and gentlemen? He might transfer. Wilson pops it to the end zone for Green, and that pass is dropped. I can't, these wide receivers don't want to be great at all. But he redeems himself right there. Touchdown, Alabama State. We started this game at 7-0 in favor of Arkansas Pine Bluff. We end the game scoring 52 unanswered points on senior day to go to 11-0 on the season. The national championship hopes are still alive. We just have to keep winning. And now we prep for the SWAT championship game. Let's take a look at the stats. Not a good game for Trey Tyler, but it wasn't his fault. These wide receivers just didn't step up. But all comes Ryan Thompson. When he finally came in, came back into the game, things just started clicking. That shows you how important he is to us. Dunning Marker with a great game. I believe that was 13 carries, 121 yards, two touchdowns, over nine yards a carry. Uh, Kelvin Mills did a good job running the ball. Low down dirty Shane Harris did a good job running the ball. Let's take a look at these wide receivers, though, because they were so disappointed today, including Ryan Thompson. Sheldon Green caught a touchdown pass. Henry Ortiz, with his only catch, was a touchdown pass. 
Brandon Hardy is so disappointed. Brandon Hardy has more drops than he does receptions. This was a five-star rated wide receiver. I'm trying to figure out how did that happen exactly. Because that makes absolutely no sense. We are starting to see now why Brandon Hardy started his collegiate career at junior college. Because he just hasn't been living up to the hype. Look at this. Seven drops among three wide receivers. Hardy, Green, and Chavez. Disappointing. The defense, though, showed out after that long run. So, we had a lot of tackles for loss. We also had three sacks in this game. But the biggest thing I'm happy about is the three turnovers. Three interceptions. One for Leon Hill. One for Avery Vincent. One for Blake Clayton. And, of course, Brad Anderson had the punt return for the touchdown to give us momentum. Thank you for watching. Peace. We going back to Detroit.